every weekday morning across the small island nation of Singapore, children arrive at state schools. While the children come from different economic and cultural backgrounds, they are all offered the same quality of instruction. With 20% of the national budget devoted to education, Singapore has developed a well-resourced, world-leading educational system. With the world becoming much smaller and more globally competitive, we are looking at what's going on in education throughout the globe and to see where things are being done well and what we can replicate in the United States. Looking at the PISA results, you see certain countries who outcompete America, countries like Finland and Ontario, Canada, and countries like Singapore, where we are in right now. And what's remarkable about the places that outcompete America, they focus on collaborative environments where kids and teachers can thrive, and they focus on building the best professional class of teachers one can. Teachers are the heart of education, and the institute that trains the teachers, it is the heart of the whole education system. The National Institute of Education trains all teachers in the Singapore school system. Top performing students are selected for specific subjects and teaching positions and are given a rigorous 21st century training to prepare them for a lifelong career. We are always open to look at new areas, new domains, with the total ultimate focus is how do we prepare a better teacher such that he or she can bring the best education to the students in the classroom. See, we just had a service learning day where many, as we walk around and see the campus, it will just demonstrate to you how the government view in terms of its importance of teacher education. You know, in Singapore, where the square foot of land is equated to gold and diamonds, and here the government gave us 16 hectares devoted to teacher education and teacher development. In your war diary, I would like you to write it very personally. Some of them, they actually recreated a timeline, so they're actually contributing uh, to the class. What was his inner thoughts? Mm -hmm. So you really try to get his perspective of what he was thinking about. Yeah. Wow, that's fantastic. Kids in this school are joyful. They like being here. But equally important is what the teachers are doing. In every classroom we go into, teachers can explain what they're doing, why they're doing it, and the connection between what they're doing and the learning that kids are accomplishing. What if we have one bar that is longer? What does it mean? And in seeing the math classes, we're starting to see a really interesting pedagogical method. It's about visualization as opposed to memorization, and about kids actually engaging in creating blocks to see what's more and what's less. They've actually um, just figured out that the bars are relative to each other, so they are not absolute. You also see as part of this a real um, focus on language immersion, um, so that kids are understanding what more than means, what fewer than means, things like that. In Singapore, there is a recognition that post-secondary education is important for all students, not only the top performers. The state-of-the-art Institute of Technical Education involves businesses in shaping their curriculum, preparing students for real-world employment prospects. They extract the enzyme and uh, work on this to work out and come up with a uh, washing detergent. And they pick up some basic skills either in enterprise or entrepreneurship. Uh, whether they go for, to work for someone else, they understand how business o operate and will be able to contribute more to the organization they work with, or they can go and start their own little business. You see a place that is focused on commerce, a place that is very entrepreneurial, a place that is very focused on work and a work ethic. A chef will go to the customer's house to prepare the food for them so that it's more fresh. So basically, if I wanted to have a party, I only had to make one phone call, right? Yeah. And you do everything. Yeah, and it's doing hours. Nice to meet you. I'm Randy. Nice to see you. Japanese Primary School. It's great to be here. Good morning, teachers. 
at the Tampanese School, we've just spent several hours looking and watching an amazing educational environment. Excel program every Tuesday once a time. So they're learning how to use Excel. Yes. The education is engaging, where technology is infused as a tool in education, and where teachers are constantly working with each other. We're just so happy to be here to see and to watch how you're creating that engagement and that love of learning and that sense of kids becoming resilient and confident and caring and passionate and, and, and um, learners and that's fantastic, so thank you. There is collaboration, there's trust, there's sharing. You didn't hear one teacher talk about test-based accountability. You didn't hear one principal talk about test-based accountability, and you didn't see any fixation in terms of testing. Do you see a school system that's focused on collaboration and trust? At this station, pupils will learn on how multi-ethnic, multi-religious nation of Singaporean road to a shared freedom. Racial and religious harmony does also exist in the school environment. Thank you, visitors. Now head over the It's side. been a wonderful trip, not just because of the hospitality that we've been shown by the educators here, but because of the commitment that you see to education. Kids are joyful. The education is engaging, where technology is infused as a tool in education, and where teachers are constantly working with each other to create an amazing educational environment. Thank you.